Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. And in the last video, we completed the fifth palace, the water palace. So now we're ready to take our new flute and show it up the river demon's ass. Or play it in front of it. Whichever the game lets us do. I hope it's the first option. But we probably won't be able to. Alright, so we just use our flute. And it magically makes it disappear. Now, look at that space there. You see all that dust and stuff? You don't think the game would do it again, would you? Alright, so we got this new annoying sequence to do here. You can see these freaking dinosaur whatever things are just chucking shit at you all day long here. And there's nothing you can do about it, so you just run. Run your ass off. That's how I always did it. Keep, keep weaving back and forth. We got three of these to go through. Come on, you guys got nothing. Your aim sucks. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Shit. Oh man. Your aim sucks. Your aim sucks. Bam. That's fucking blue. All right, fuck you guys. I hate you. Oh, uh, by the way, I was a little too distracted to point out that yes, they did do it. That fucking square turned into a uh, desert space. We didn't see that shit coming. Come on! Ooh, look at that shit! You guys got nothing! Oh shit, I better run. <laughs> I ain't gonna get pelted again. Alright, down below, that's the way to go towards the final palace, but we're not ready to go there yet, obviously. Um, most of the enemies here on this side are pretty much all the same, just different combinations, so I'm just gonna skip all the battles for the most part. But we are gonna make our way up here. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna actually grab this yet, but I'm just gonna show it. We got another- Whoa! We got another 1-up uh, Link there. Almost picked it up. So we'll come back to that later. But for now, we're just gonna quickly head into this cave. Come on, get in there. Alright, we don't have to come in here. It's just a point bag, but just to be kind of complete, I guess, for this- Fuck. For this outer uh, map stuff, I'm just gonna show it off anyways. Because I can, damn it. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Yeah, well, I wasn't really trying to do an impersonation there, so fuck it. Alright, so we got the 500 point bag, which would be nice if we really. You son of a bitch! I kill you, but you're a pain in the ass to try to down throw, so I'm just gonna skip you. Ugh. But yeah, we don't really need the point bag, because we're gonna level up on the sixth, uh. Palace. <laughs> fuck it. Anyways. But, uh, again, I'm just gonna show them just because I can. Alright, come on. Alright, so we'll make it out of the swamp there, thank god. Another bridge! Oh boy. I hate this shit. Same tactics. Just block, down thrust, get shot in the back. Shit. That was a dumb move. Don't do what I was doing. Alright, so, we're gonna just come in here real quick. Oh, that was a dumb move. Oh, if I came from, from the front, I might have got killed there. Again. Ah, fairy! <laughs> fairy for safety! God damn it, I'm just, I'm just fucking it up today. I don't care. There, that, that's how you use the fairy spell. Alright, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so let's go into town. Alright, so we come to this town here, and already, yep. We can see that, uh, something's not right here. Try to read the sign here. Kasuto, strange, it is deserted. Well, it's obviously not completely deserted because something was attacking us. And the buildings are all fucked up. Except for the inside here, which, it looks all fine inside here. Seriously, could they, did they, uh, really not take the time to make the inside look different? At least for this town? Come on, lazy bastards. And we come here to this... Uh, guy here, who looks like a magic man, but all he says is, The town is dead, look east in woods. Yeah, well, you bet the town is dead. All that's here is this old man, a bunch of broken buildings, and a bunch of ghosts floating around, which we cannot see, just like if we were going to those, uh, graveyard battle areas. Uh, we can't see them without the cross. Now, I could just leave right now, but I'm also just show the rest of the town how it's all fucked up, just cause... You can see... Nobody's in the houses, everyone's left, or they're dead. Which, I'm gonna probably die in here. If I die in here, I don't give a shit. 
I got lives to spare for this, uh, right now. And then this one either. Fuck. Turn on a shield. Oh shit. I like how the, I seriously just I love how all the houses look fine from the inside. They're just fucked up on the outside. And I'm gonna die here. Just watch. Oh oh oh. Maybe not. Nope. I'm gonna die. Just watch. Ah, oh, see, I knew it. Well, I, I like I said, I didn't give a shit. Oh fuck. At least it starts to be right in front of here. Yeah, so coming to this town without the cross is a bitch, but, I mean, you don't really need to do anything else in here anyways. The only important thing is just talking to that old man to get some info about, uh, how there's the town in the woods. Shit! There we go. Alright, so we got the hell out of there. Alright, so now we're gonna make our way back over here. You can see these three uh, rocks here. Obviously, they they mean something, but we haven't been told what yet, so we're just gonna leave them alone and try to avoid them. Right here. Oh shit! They started fucking hell. They started us with a guy right next to us. Um, we got this point bag, and we don't need it, but might as well. And actually, just south down there along the beach, there is a hard container. I can't remember if anyone actually tells you about that one. But we're gonna grab that later. On the way back over here, you'll see. For now, we're just gonna head here to this cave. Because if you saw on the right there, it pops out in this little, uh, little part on the right side there. Because the old man said to look to the east in the woods for a town, but I didn't see a town there. But there is one. I just gotta actually find it. It's one of those secrets in the games that I thought was a uh, the games in the game that was really cool. I thought it was cool as a kid. I I really liked uh, when I found it on my own. Cause as you can see, um, there's no town here, not at least that one that's visible. But if you remember what the hammer can do, it can knock down trees. However, it does that. So I thought maybe I could try to um knock down all these trees here and see what happens. Uh, come on. Okay, so and it's right there. And these battles keep freaking interrupting me. But, and as you can see, once you reveal it, the town will stay revealed. I think at least for while we're over here. So, let's check out this new town. Alright, so we come into this town here and we'll check out this sign. The hidden town of Kasuto. So, obviously they moved their town to over here. And you'll notice something right off the bat, which is kind of weird. This is the only town where you come in from the left side. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they did it that way. Uh, you talk to this chick here, we had to flee Kasuto. Yeah, because your town got fucking rocked. Talk to this lady who, thank god, you deserve my help, follow me. That's more like it. More people need to be like this, uh, woman here. You deserve my help, you damn right I do. Everyone needs to give me help here. Alright, anyways, um, there is a secret at edge of town. Alright, well that's good info. And somehow she magically changed her clothes really fast or something, I don't know. And you come down here and you think there'd be a magic man, but no, it's actually a magic container. Which I always thought was kind of weird. It, you know, you normally don't get uh, your containers and your heart stuff uh, in town like that, but I mean, I'll take it. See, more, uh, more people need to be like her, helping me out here. For free, I don't have to do shit, she just gives it to me for free. Uh, we talked to this uh, lady here. The old man who remains has magic. Now, I don't know if you have to talk to her specifically, or is it just coming to the town? I don't know why this place is empty. Uh, coming to this town activates it, but now when we go back to that uh, the, the um, deserted Kasuto, that old man will give us magic. I don't know why he just doesn't do it right off the bat. Um, we're just gonna use our life spell because we can. Yeah, yeah, rest here. Alright, fill me up. Oh, and we got the healing lady, but I already filled up, but I want some. I always want some. Uh, she says, the hole in palace is endless trap. Well, it's, it's a trap. Um, it's, it's not really a trap. I, I wouldn't call it a trap. It's, it's endless for sure, but you can easily get out of it. Still, uh, that's, uh, useful information. So, we'll check out this house here, which is extra long. And, of course, it's empty, but, I mean, come on. Would you really not notice this? Sure enough, you go inside the chimney or whatever, and you come down here, and here's the magic man from the town. He tells us to remember the magic word. 
Uh-uh-uh, he didn't say the magic word. Uh-uh-uh, uh-uh-uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys will know what that's from. You should. Alright, so we'll leave there. Oh, where is he? I know this dude's here somewhere. I think it's him. Yeah, here we go. Call for help at the three eye rocks. So, obviously that's what those three rocks in the, uh, the desert are. But, there's only so many things we can do out there, so... To call for help, what do we do? We use our flute. And that's actually where these six palaces. Um, you come to the edge of town here, and there's nothing here, but obviously there has to be something, even if you didn't listen to the lady. You can figure this out on your own. Use the spell spell. The spell spell. And it, uh, opens this up, and I don't know why. Why the hell is it so tall? Does it really need to be that big? I always just thought that that was unnecessary. And it, we don't even go up, we go down. And inside here is, man, there's like three of these things in this town, wow. Um, we get this item here, the magical key, or magic key, whatever, you can see it there. It's technically one of the items that's not necessary, I think, because you can ferry your way through gates, uh, provided you have enough magic. But we're going to need it for the sixth temple because I believe that there aren't any keys in there at all. Well, for the most part. So, you really need the magical key if you want to be able to get around. Conveniently, anyways. Oh, I better make sure I, uh, refill on magic. Where are you? Yeah, I'm back for more. Alright. Alright, so I think that's everything in this town here. I hope we didn't forget anything. Um, and we can't exit to the right because it's a dead end. We have to walk all the way back here, which is just a pain in the ass. Ow, fuck, I wasn't trying to talk to you. Oh, well. Oh, actually, huh. I guess the town just, it covers up again. They, they quickly rebuild the trees. Um, alright, so that's all we can do over here. Alright, so we're just gonna skip that cave. And we're gonna make our way back down here and grab that heart. That I skipped earlier. And luckily, there's no bullshit here to deal with. No enemies, you don't have to use a damn jump spell. Or any of that other nonsense. We can just grab the damn heart. So all we need is one more level up and we'll be maxed out. So we'll just make our way back to the three eye rocks, and we will call for help just like that man said. And it magically makes this uh, palace appear. Ah, fuck me. Aha. Ah, fuck it. All right, good. Yeah, stay away from me. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video. We're gonna cut this one here, and in the next one, we are going to start the last of the regular palaces, the hidden palace. So I'll see you then.